Hey guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter World, the beta. Today we're going to do the first hunt, Great Devourer, Great Yargus? Jargus? 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 And we're also going to create our uh, our character. Now note at the bottom there, this is not the full character customization in the full game. I'm sure you'll be able to detail your character's face and eyes and hair color and all that fun stuff. But because it's a beta, it's pretty simple. We just have male, female, and we have you know, some backgrounds to choose from, but it's mostly lighting. Um, and we have six heads to choose from um i think we'll probably go with that's good ponytail i think ponytail is practical um usually do blondes blonde with bows so maybe we'll do a, a blonde with bow here as well so that works um press x and confirm there we go enter our name let's call her eliza um, so yeah, in the last video we messed around in the trading area, got all our, uh, weapons and fun stuff like that. Um, tried, I forget what we tried, some big great sword looking thing, and then we just went to the bow. We didn't try too many other weapons, but there are a lot of weapons in there. So, Eliza, we'll stick with that. So now we got our pet, this will be our little companion, he'll, uh, help with us. I don't know if he actually comes into, uh, multiplayer. I don't know if he's only single player or if, because I'm trying to think if I saw him in multiplayer or not. Um, but our little cat companion here um, will help us, at least in the single player. Like I said, I can't remember if I saw him when we were doing multiplayer stuff. But in single player, he'll come around. He'll either heal us or put up a shield or stun him, depending on what you equip him with. You can equip his, you know, helmet, chest piece, and weapon. And his uh, special ability. So we'll name him Beth. So we have Elizabeth. Eliza and Beth. Elizabeth. Team Elizabeth. Alright, start a new game with this character? Yes. So let's going to do the first mission, which is two stars. Rated for beginners. Um, Great Devourer, Great Jargus. Then we got um, these other two with intermediate, intermediate and Expert. And in the beta, if you complete these three quests, you will get three packs for... Um, for the full game. So if you complete the beginner pack, uh, the beginner mission, you get a beginner pack. The intermediate, you get an intermediate pack. If you get uh, the advanced one, you get an advanced pack. And if you complete all three, you get all three. And at least I think they're different. <laughs> I think their names were different. So you can get three packs for um, stuff. So they give us a bunch of stuff, equipment to uh, mess around with. I don't really know what this monster is because this is the first time playing this hunt, so I don't know what kind of monster he is, what kind of uh, stuff he is. So let's just get with a mix of you know, health, attack, stun, critical stuff. Since we're a bow, I think critical aim is important. So maybe we'll we'll keep that uh, critical eye there so we can get some critical hits with our bow. Um, maybe we'll just stick with that for now since we don't really know what we're doing um, monster-wise. But let's just see what else we have here. We've got fire defense. That could come in handy. Don't want to burn to death. Um, let's just take a look at all of them. See what they look like. That's the default one. So the default one you notice has fire and water damage. So I imagine we're going to be fighting monsters with water and fire abilities and maybe something of both. Because I would think they would leave the default stuff in there with two fire and two water just because, you know, they want to count on the fact that people won't mess around with their armor and stuff. So default stuff is probably good, but well. We're a little bit advanced in video games. Maybe not advanced in Monster Hunter, but we know. We can mess around a little bit here. Mix and match will be alright. It's the first hunt anyway. It's the beginners, so this should be a very easy and straightforward quest. Um, so we can have a little freedom here. You saw the outfits are pretty varied. Pretty good. Probably take a uh, hide our helmet off once we get into the combat, though, because I just, eh, when you create characters and stuff, sometimes, most of the time, I like to take off uh, the helmet. Alright, I think, oh, that one has 111 on everything. That's not bad, too. Um, hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter, because if we do die, we can always, uh, we'll know what the monster is. Let's, uh, hmm. A little stealth. That could come in handy. Just 
should be fine. All right, so weapons. I think we're gonna stick with the longbow. There's a lot of weapons um, to choose from. The ghillie suit is uh, pretty good. Hide from monsters, especially when they're attacking like this. Um, so I think we'll probably keep that. That seems pretty good. And then the health booster. I mean, why not? Always have a health booster. Um, all that other stuff seems pretty advanced right now. Let's just stick with uh, the ghillie suit for now. And we'll stick with the bow. Let's save our loadout. So look at that. They already have uh, six loadouts for us, which is pretty good. So let's save our loadout. Loadout 7. Let's rename it so we know that it is our... We'll just uh, put it, what, hunter bow, something like that. It's just so we know that's our custom one. So don't forget. So that's good. It looks like we can have... 14 pages of custom loadouts. Holy cow, that's a lot. All right, let's change our little pet here. Um, fire or poison? Poison seems good. This one, I don't know why. All right, let's let's uh, let's go with poison. Yeah, why in spade? There's no real bonuses, right? Nothing special about it. That has 10 fire. Potion, yeah, poison, poison, poison. We'll keep it with poison. 10 defense, I'll get some fire bonuses and ice bonuses, that seems like a good one. This other one, yeah. Um, let's take a look at that one. I think we'll keep this this one. I think that one has one 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 one. Good overall. Should we keep this one? I don't know. Well, this one seems a little bit better, I think. I don't know. Looks cooler anyway. Alright, for the chest, let's see. Ten one one, three, one, two, one. One 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 one. Let's go with the fire. I mean, he just looks so much cooler like that. Um, yeah. Kind of just reminds me a lot of uh, a little bit of Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy 15, because we did a lot of monster hunting uh, quests in that game as well. Um, I think healing spray sounds really good. So maybe we'll stick with healing spray. All right, there's our party looking good. So now it's time to hunt the Great Devourer. Here we go. I think we're playing with Japanese audience. Each hunt, we're going to try each uh, different audience. All English text. Right. Current location in the ancient forest. Bottom left hand.地面に腹を吸った痕跡がよく見られます。まずはこちらの場所を目指し、痕跡を見つけましょう。では、捜索クルーズ。痕跡をたどってドスジャグラスを探し出し、制限時間以内に狩猟してください。うん。All Leave? No. We want you to come with us. Alright, let's, um... Let's fix our mini-map first. Let's see if we can do that. Some quest info, some stuff. We gotta be quick here, too, because we're on a time limit. I don't think the timer stops when we're paused. Mini-map, perfect. First option, we want that to rotate. And the second option, which is awesome, hide helmet, hide. The first two options in the game settings are the two that I care about. So... I think that speaks to the game design. They know what people want, I think. <laughs> Unless I just, there's a randomness. But those are the two settings I always change in video games, if I can. I just take a quick look at the camera settings, see if there's anything that sticks out at us. But I don't know. I think everything's fine. It'd be interesting to play this in first person, actually. That'd be kind of interesting, but I don't see that option there. Leave all, all that stuff here. I could turn up the... Turn up the music a little bit. It wasn't numbers before, I think. So, 70, 90. I like the voice up, sound effects down, and the music a little low. That's how I like to play. Alright, let's go! Fight, fight, fight! Alright, we want to go straight this way. So it looks like we have access to the whole map, too. I wonder if uh, all the other ones, all the other three hunts will be taking place here, too. I wonder if we can actually see the monsters while we're fighting in here, too. I wonder how many areas, I didn't actually look at all the dots on the map, but I wonder if all those dots are all the different areas in the map, which, uh, in the actual full game. Looks so like there's a lot of zones. These seem pretty big. 
it'd be a pretty big game. シルベムシが痕跡に反応していますね。調べてみましょう。あの、maybe there I think we're okay, but either way, let's uh, stick to the bushes, sneak around, just in case. I think we'll be alright. Now let's take a look at the footprint. Scent of a uh, monster here. I haven't played a monster hunt. Well, I guess I played that free to play monster hunter game in the Japanese store, but that was a little different. Um. And Dragon's Dogma on the PS3. That was a long time ago too. Whenever that was free for PlayStation Plus on the PS3, it was like... I think it was actually around this time, but... Three years ago, maybe? Four years ago? Let's get this plant. Don't know why, it's a beta. I need to care about all this crafting stuff, but it's here. Take a look at it. Right, let's follow these flies. This would be a cool game um, to get really good at, because I like, um, Sometimes when I'm just messing around in games that I've beaten a lot of times, I like just going around helping people. This would be a cool game to get really good at and then uh, join like a bunch of beginner games and uh, help the beginners out. It's always fun to do. Sometimes it can be annoying. It depends if they have, you know, microphones and they're not annoying little kids and they're actually, you know, just talking like normal. Doing that a lot recently with uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Woo, there we go. I don't think there's anything to really swing on. I wonder if we could actually climb up this. Uh, we'll just swing. We'll follow the flies. Could probably use this to jump on a monster too. I guess we'll keep getting this. We'll level this stuff up. Kind of reminds me a little bit too of, um, I don't know, just the look of it and I guess like the dinosaur aspect of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. That was a really good one too. Is that the monster already? Alright, let's find him. Yeah, now that I think about it, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn is kind of like a Monster Hunter game, really. It really is, yeah. And that's a good game. If you like Monster Hunter, Horizon, and you have a PS4, um, Horizon Zero Dawn is excellent. It, it, I don't think I really found, like, a single flaw in that game. Um, fast travel was a little annoying at first, but then eventually you craft, like, an unlimited fast travel thing. And then you don't have to worry about that. But either way, you still run around. You don't need a fast travel. I mean, you can, yeah. Yeah, if you buy them, where you can craft, craft uh, fast travel kits. Yeah. Either way, not a big deal. So there was a ride a monster, not a monster, and, uh, ride, ride around. Yeah, I know, we gotta dodge, 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 dodge. We gotta dodge while they ran. Get it? Oops, we gotta sling her out. We really can't run and uh, dodge with her our weapon out. It's kind of annoying, we gotta pull this out every time. Right, so it's like 
our uh, guys taking the brunt, taking all the aggro. Just a load on them now. Oh, God. I know it's just a beta, but uh, it doesn't look fantastic. Like, it looks good. I don't know. It's just something about it. It doesn't look as good as some of the recent games I've been playing. Even I even thought about that of Star Wars Battlefront 2. It didn't look as good. I don't know why. Like, they still look good. But just weird. I don't know why. Especially with like Call of Duty World at War 2, like some of the some of the in-game cutscenes looked really good. You couldn't even tell if it was like real life or if it was fake. I mean, you couldn't tell that it was fake because it looked so real either way. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Lost Planet. He's just running through a jungle or something, and all the, the bright colors, I guess. I don't know. Is that Lost Planet 2 or 3 when you're going through the jungle? Lost Planet 1 was kind of a lot of snow, wasn't it? I can't remember. I never finished any of those games. I've played them. I remember getting stuck at like a really bad checkpoint in the first one and I just stopped. So you had like this whole uh, heat mechanic because it was an all in the snow. So if you weren't... Stuck that checkpoint. Oh, why am I getting close? I can't really do anything at all. Get it. Ah. That's a lot of charge. Go, come on. Get it, get it, get it. Right in the face. We got 10 minutes left. We gotta make it quick. I can't really see a health bar. I mean, you can kind of see like his his heart rate monitor, if I think, if that's what that is in the bottom left. To the right of the mini map. He's really mad now. I think I'm going the right way. Should be him on the main map over there. Okay. Let's honey, let's grab some honey. Don't really have time for this. And probably just have to walk up to it. Yeah, there we go. Sweet golden honey. Now we smell like raw fish, honey, and what else? Lot of family. It was fish, it was honey, and what else did he eat? Small like, like three course meal for the bear or whatever. God damn. Just saw it the other day. Charge, get it! Yes! There we go. There we go. He's almost gone. Nope. Get out of here, skinny boy. Come on, come on. 
Skybox is just kind of cool. It's kind of weird. Why is it like fire red? You see, with the the bow, the bow class, um, definitely more of a supporting class. It's hard to pull a aggro while being in range and trying not to dodge and kill each other. It'd be nice. But I, I think our cat is doing a good job. Playing with other people, if we have a hunting party with us, we could uh, have you know two or three guys with swords and just wailing them in the front, keeping them distracted. We can be from a distance popping arrows into them. A few arrows in his butt. Right. Brought us back to his nest. Ooh, that was cool. Is this still here? Come on, Beth, let's go. Focus on the ads, I'll get the big guy now. Let's go, bow. There we go. He's almost dead. Oh, no, 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 no. We're alive, we're alive. I shouldn't take that much damage. Let's go. Space Cowboys. Here we go, we got him. Leave the quest. Congratulations. So get all this stuff, even though we don't need it because it's a beta and we're never gonna see it again. But let's do it anyway. Let's get all this stuff. See if we get any rewards and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> we're in them a little bit, but that's fine. Quest complete. The Great Devourer is no more. 14 minutes, 16 seconds, 2 milliseconds. Pretty good. Yes. 6 minutes under time. Alright, so we got the Great Devourer. Um, earned you the beginner accommodation pack. So we got a bunch of little uh, stuff to boost us in the main game. Which is pretty cool. So thanks guys so much for watching. Click one of these playlists. Hit that subscribe button if you want. Leave a like, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.